Hello. Today I thought we'd take a few minutes and talk about how to install the JNM headset into an HJC Cymax 2 helmet. Now, I have a JNM 629 Elite model, but the steps that we're going to follow should work for just about any headset that you would install in the HJC Cymax 2, and I suspect it's probably the same for other uh, HJC and other uh, flip face helmets too. It'll give you some good ideas on how to do this. So I just did this on my own helmet uh, about a week ago, and I've seen a lot of uh, posts on GL1800 riders uh, about you know how do you do this. So I thought we'd make a little video, and I'll just show you how I put mine in. And I'm going to go in and show you how to take out the insides and everything. I'm actually going to kind of show you this process in reverse because I've already got this system installed in the helmet. So what I'm going to do is take it apart and kind of show you how it's installed and I think from that you'll be able to, to see how to do it yourself. But before we get started, I'm going to let you know there's a couple of tools that you're going to need. The first tool you're going to need is a little Phillips screwdriver about like this and I'll show you how you'll need that in a minute. You're also going to need the little Allen wrench that came with your JNM headset system. It came with a little Allen wrench, and you will need that to tighten the screws on the uh, mounting clasp. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, also, before you get started, make sure you, I've got a towel, a bath towel, to set this on because as you work on your helmet you're going to be moving it up and moving it around and you might you don't want to get this face shield uh, scratched up or your helmet scratched up so you want to make sure you've got a good soft towel or carpet or something that you're working on uh, so that you don't scratch your shield or your helmet the first step is you want to get your helmet the interior of your helmet set up to where you're going to install these items. Now on the HJC Cymax 2, you've got these cheek pads that literally just pop right out. There's two little uh, snaps and if you reach inside here, if you can see that, you just pop that out, pop out the other one, and it will slide right off. There's your cheek pad. Set it off to the side. And then once you have that off, you can see inside, this is where I've got my JNM speaker mounted. Now, you may be able to see, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera or not, but notice that I have removed the little rubber foam earpiece that comes on the JNM speakers. You do not need these with the cheek pads, and they, and they will cause it to stick out a little further, so it might be a little more uncomfortable. And these just slide right off. You can take these right off those little speakers. And you'll notice the speakers themselves are velcroed in to the interior of the helmet. So you can remove them very easily if you need to. And they plug in to the little wires here. Now I'm going to show you how you... Uh, the, 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 you know, the, the speakers themselves actually install pretty, pretty easily. Uh, the, the most complex is getting the little boom microphone installed. I'm going to show you how to do that. But I'm also going to remove the other cheek pads so you can see the other speaker and they, they unsnap the same way. This is also how you take the cheek pads out if you ever want to wash these. Uh, one of the great things about the HJC helmet is everything, the whole interior of the helmet comes out. So you've got your, um, your little back piece also. There's two snaps here. This is the back. You pop that out and you're going to need to unsnap that so that you can get the wire to go from the, the, the left speaker all the way around to the right side to the, to the right side speaker in the helmet. Now you're going to notice that the left side of the helmet is where your mic boom and all your, your clasp and everything are mounted. That goes right under your left ear. And there you can see the how that's mounted on there, and you can kind of get a perspective to kind of see how that looks. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this so you can see how everything fits inside this shell, because you'll notice the mic boom actually is between this little inner liner here and the exterior shell of the helmet. It kind of is wedged in between there, and that's why you're going to need that little screwdriver because you've got to remove that little Phillips screw 
right there. I don't know if you can see it at the end of my finger. We're going to remove that screw and that will allow us to lift up that little inner plastic liner so that we can get access inside to mount everything. So let's take that off now. I'm going to try to do this and hold the camera at the same time, which is not that easy to do. Okay, that screw is now out. And now you'll notice I can now lift this up. You can't lift it up very far, but you can lift it up enough to kind of see down in there. And you can see there's how the microphone boom kind of kind of wedges in between there. Okay, well, I'm going to get a little better shot here for you so you can see how this all fits together. Okay, now what you're looking at right here is a little bit of a close-up on that clasp. And that clasp, I call it a clasp, it's, the, it's what's going to hold the microphone boom in place. And you can come out here, I'll get out, there's the microphone, the boom. And if you go down inside, in between this, this inner uh, piece of the shell, and this is the outer shell of the helmet right here, you'll see that that boom is secured on the end of this little clasp on the inside. There's a little hard plastic piece at the end of the microphone boom, and that little hard plastic piece will fit right inside this little plastic clasp, and when you tighten it down, it will hold everything in place. Now you want to make sure before you tighten everything down that your microphone is turned correctly so that the little, you know, the little holes in the microphone are facing your face so that you're talking into the front in, into the the receiver part of the microphone instead of the back of the microphone. But that's pretty, you know, common sense. You just look at the take off this little uh, this little foam piece before you ever put the foam piece on and make sure you've got it installed uh, facing the correct direction. So that's the main thing to remember is that this little plastic piece on the microphone boom fits inside that. You don't want it just flopping around loose in here otherwise it's just going to go everywhere. So a lot of people don't know that. But that actually fits inside that little clasp. And now let's talk. Also, all of your wires run underneath this little inner shell and up through the, I call it the ear hole, I'm not sure, it's the hole that the little strap goes through for your chin strap. There's a little hole here, I don't know, it's about two and a half inches wide by an inch, you know, long or vice versa. And those wires go up through there and come around in here. You see that? Kind of right around your chin strap. And th these wires are going to be covered by your cheek pad, so you're never going to see them. And then you run the wire to your right side speaker around and underneath this little back piece here. That's why you have to unsnap it. And you'll see, if you can see up in there, there's the wire right there that runs over to the other speaker. It's really pretty simple. And then everything just snaps back together and holds in place. You don't really have to glue these wires down or tape them down. The, the liner will hold everything in place just fine.